Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Thank you for joining me for my stream here. I settled on Mario 64. Okay, so um, that's what we're going to be playing here in a minute. Um, just real quick, as always, um, if you join the stream chat, just be respectful to myself and the others. Um, any um, game suggestions for future streams are more than welcome. Um, that should be good. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's have some fun. <clears throat> All right. And since I have had so many technical difficulties here as of late with my streams, I am going to go ahead and check the stream as I do it here just to make sure things are going as they should be. I don't want there to be any more disasters like that one where I did that four something hour long stream of Zelda 1 and the audio was destroyed. So. The audio was destroyed. Okay, so, so, so far so good. Everything seems to be on track. It's me, Mario. Absolutely love this game. I got this game Hello. when I was 15 years old. I was in ninth grade. I got it for Christmas. Thank you, Okasan, Mom. <laughs> you hooked me up with a really good one. It's one of my favorite games for uh, this particular platform, this particular console. Alright, so as you see, I've been playing some, but I'm going to start a new one for us to do together. I'm going to check the audio here as we go. Dear Mario, please come to- oh, I was going to read that to you all, but alas, it's off the screen, but who is wrong? This is so far so good. All right, great with the audio here. Good deal. Okay. And I'll tell you what. This game I always thought really showcases the graphics capabilities of the Nintendo 64. Okay, so it's basically telling me how to do the, the controls, which I, I've already mastered. Oh, darn it. So, let's go into the castle and go ahead and find Bowser and give him the beatdown. Good afternoon, the Lakitu brothers here, reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. <laughs> so, if anybody remembers the earlier editions of Mario, you'll remember um, that little turtle that would ride the cloud and would throw... Um, Spinies at you. Uh, well, this is him, but he is taken on a different role. He's no longer a bad guy. He's your cameraman, so he's on your side now. Which I think that's a really cool aspect to this character. Mario has just arrived on the scene, and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. A seasoned cameraman... <laughs> We'll be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. To take a look at the surrounding, stop and press C up. Press A to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the lack of two brothers. <laughs> Welcome. No one's home. Now scram and don't come back. Guahaha. Your face. All right. 
So anyway, the first thing I normally do is I enter this painting right here. That's normally how you find levels in this game, is you go and you walk over and you access levels to, by jumping through paintings. Okay, so we're in the middle of the battlefield, we got the bombs here. Okay, interestingly enough, you don't get the you don't get the um, super mushroom. For um, energy, strength, that kind of thing. You get your power and your health back by collecting coins. I'll show you how it works. Boom. So that Goomba just hit me. He took away one part of my power meter. I get a coin. I get it back. So coin is your sustenance in this game. Coins are your sustenance in this game. Absolutely. Alright, so what you need to do when you play any level in Mario 64 is find star coins. That is the name of the game here. And you can do that by finding different tasks in each level to perform. Now you do get 1-up mushrooms, as you just saw. You get the classic green 1-up mushroom. Dude. This is a normal bomb, which means he will kill you if you don't get away from him. Chain Chomp here, he is really big in this game. I mean, he is big. Oh. What am I doing? Let me get the can there we go. Okay, why did I just do that? That's the problem. Okay, I had to zoom in and go on. Darn it. That's what I want to do. I want to have it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Again, like with any Mario game, jumping accuracy is your biggest asset. Okay, if you collect all eight of the red coins, you will get a star coin. Or a star. Please keep that in mind. So if you don't want to fight, leave him alone. Okay. Don't want to play around too much here, he'll kill you. And Chain Chomp is very strong. You don't want to take too many hits from him. He, he will off you in a hot second if you're not careful. So, at any rate. Mr. Bomb. Get him. Throw him out. And boom. Oh, you don't get a coin again? That sucks. So I got five of the star coins. Or I got five of the red coins, pardon me. Alright, so if you do the jump pound on that wooden post, it will hammer it into the ground, which will free Chain Chomp. As you saw there, as he runs away, he knocks apart that iron gate, and there you go, you got a star coin. Now, I'm not going to just walk up here and get this. I'm going to get this thing in style. See, I'm not going to be boring. I'm going to get the star coins and make it look cool when you do it. Okay, so we got someone in the chat. It's not a person, it's a bot. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. 
if any actual people would like to join me, I mean, that would be great. Okay, so we're gonna save and continue. You've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. So, okay, the more of those power stars you collect, the more areas of the castle you can access. But we don't need to worry about that right yet. Big the bomb on the summit. All right, so what I'm gonna do for this one, I'm just gonna walk over. I'm gonna talk to the pink the bomb. Hey, you! It's dangerous ahead, so listen up. Take my advice. Cross the two bridges ahead, then watch for falling water bombs. The ba bomb at the top of the mountain is very powerful. Don't let him grab you. Okay. So what we need to do, considering that advice I just got, is. Warm over here, stay against the fence, stay away from Chain Chomp, he can really mess you up, again. Alright, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go through the gate, and down this ditch, watch these balls here, they can pack a wallop. Jumping, doing the power jump, you hold down the R button, and hit A, which is jump, you do this power jump, like that. Right there, just be careful. I think there's a one up in here. Is there a one up in here? Oh, it's a teleportation portal. I knew there was something in there, I just couldn't quite recall what it was. I haven't played this game in quite a spell. Alright, so I have to have a sumo wrestling match with King Babam here. I'm the Big Babom, Lord of all blasting matter, King of Kabooms the world over. And my mustache is bigger and cooler than yours. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. <laughs> Said everything else, but not that. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my Imperial Mountain Top? You may have eluded my guards. But you'll never escape my grasp! And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me <clears throat> to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. So he basically just told me how to beat him. Okay. So, how I'm gonna do it? I'm gonna flip, get behind him. I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're new to the game and don't know the mechanics of the game as well as I do. That's the easier way to do it if you know how to do it. You just take him over to the side, you toss him, he's gonna come back. He's not that easy to do. I mean, it's a pretty easy test, but... Oh, wait a second, it, pardon me. Um, okay, my fault. Um, you, you, you actually don't throw him off the cliff. That's what you do with Bowser, you throw him out of the ring. You can maneuver behind him like this, too. That's another option for you. Well, with him, you just simply throw him. You gotta do it more than once. Don't let him grab you. Here I go. One, two, three. Alright, so we're gonna Whoa, what? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the Babom King? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. So he's giving you tips on how to take down Bowser. He thinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here is your star, as I promised, Mario. 
If you want to see me again, select the star from the menu. For now, farewell. Wow, brutal. Dang. Guess I'm not gonna do this week. I'm gonna do a round off and get it. <laughs> Mario's an acrobatic little sucker. I mean, he doesn't look it, but he is an awesome gymnast, you can see that. Okay. There is the one star that got Big the Bomb on the summit. Now it's this one. Foot race with Koopa the Quick. This one's fun. This one's fun. It's cute. Hey, Mario! Is it true that you beat Big the Bomb? Cool. You must be strong and pretty fast. So how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me? Koopa the Quick? I don't think so. <laughs> Just try me. How about a race to the mountaintop where Big Ba Bomb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Okay, let's do this. So the way I race him is like this. Aim and jump. Aim and jump. Keep going, keep going, keep going, aim and jump, aim and jump, aim and jump, aim and jump. This right here can backfire if you're not careful. Be sure to aim before you jump. That's not just important, it's imperative. Okay, now that teleportation area that I showed you guys earlier. Do you want to, you want to cheat? You can do that. Here is how you use the teleportation area. You just simply do this. Stand still. That's it. There's nothing to it. Here. Back up up there. And now I'm just show buddy. <laughs> Where's Koopa? Oh, you gotta wait for Koopa to click to get here. Here he comes. Now, uh, he's pretty fast, to give him credit. You know, I did all those fancy tricks, and I still wasn't really that far ahead of him. <sighs> Whoa! You... really are fast! A human blur! Here you go! You won it, fair and square. And... So, how am I gonna get this one? I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna do a super jump on it. One. Here we go. Of course, you know, since I'm playing a Mario game, I gotta rock the Mario coffee mug with the cool warp pipe and all that. You recovered three power stars. Now you can open any door with three stars on it. With three on it, star. Pardon me. You can come and go from open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. So th this game really scaffolds the difficulty pretty well. Um, you know, th this is the first 3D Mario game, so I, I think it's really nice that Nintendo and the designers took the time to really help people adjust to this environment, because this is different. Um, it even took me a little bit of learning to really understand how to play a 3D Mario game, because, you know, God knows Mario is the king of these side-scrolling platform 2D games. And really still is, you know, at least in my opinion. But, you know, definitely back in that day, there wasn't much debate. You know, that was the side-scrolling genre of the, of the time. So to see Mario in a 3D environment is like, whoo, it's mind-blowing. So they really give you everything in, in pretty pretty uh, adequate, well-plotted increments. Alright, so what I'm going to do... Go back into the painting. 
and again, I think this game really shows the graphics capabilities of a Nintendo 64. Some of the games on Nintendo 64 have poor graphics, but it's not the fault of the game system itself. It's the way the games are designed. You can see here, when a game is designed properly and uses the capabilities of the Nintendo 64 to its fullest, you get a darn good looking product. I mean, I mean even by today's standards, this still looks pretty good. Back, you know, when this came out, it was off the chains. Shoot the island in the shoot the island in the sky. Okay, this one's pretty easy. All right, so the bombs here are gonna give me we're peace loving the bombs, so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all the cannons in the chorus for you to use. Bon voyage. All right, so. Okay, ready for blast off. Come on, hop into the cannon. You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use the control stick to aim and press A to fire. Okay, so I already know all this. Let's drop down. Alright, now this can be a little tedious. So let's. Oh, jeez, they didn't talk about tedious. Wow. They missed that one by a mile. It could be because I have to come over here to do this. Dang it. What I normally do is I try to aim and hit that tree so I can grab it. Okay, well, I didn't need to that time. Awesome. There it is. Here we go. Awesome. Alright, so another star down. Let's go to the next one. I love that round off. That's awesome. Find the eight coins. Okay, this one can be kind of hard. Not particularly in this level, but it can be hard in other levels. I remember um, back in 2007, I played this game a lot during Easter break from school. And I remembered what I did was I went and got every single star coin that you can find in the game. Literally every, every star coin. And some of the levels, like that one clock level, comes much later. That mother was hard, and one of the hardest parts was finding the eight coins. You really gotta be a... Again, I'm not, not bragging. Whenever I talk about my abilities with the game, I'm not gloating at all. I'm just being honest. I mean, you have got to be a darn good player to get these star coins I'm referring to. You really have to be able to control this game and have a good mastery of the controls. Because without that, you will not make it. Cool thing is too, you can enter a stage again and again and again. And you can get that one up over and over, and you can really build your extra lives up and get the heck out of here before he chomps down on you and lives up to his name, Chain Chomp. Stop, stop, stop. Isn't there something in here? Dang it. Now, oh, another cool trick you can do in this is you 
Hmm. Why can't I do the wall jump? No, it's not happening. I can do it over here, though. Okay, one cool thing you can do... Mario is really athletic in this game. There we go. If you jump underneath of a platform and hold down the jump button, so jump and hold down the button, he will grab the underside of whatever area it is and climb. So, yeah, he... Mario is really... I mean, again, he may not look it, but he is one athletic... Somebody. Okay. How many red coins do I have? Does it tell me? It doesn't. Okay, so... Alright, I think there is a red coin, actually, on top of... So I think that's six. Was that six? Okay. There is another one. Okay, here. Can I get up here? Doesn't look like it. I can't- I can get up there, but not the easy way. I'll show you how you do it. The way you would do that would be... Duck and dodge, duck and dodge. There we go. Alright. Just it. Oh, it's okay. Bound to happen eventually. There it is. That's my sixth one. Dang it. Oh, man, no. That one. Just get some coins. Restore that. I think there's a red coin up. I know, a heart. Isn't there a red coin up here? No? Well, well I got the high ground here, so I'm gonna take a look. No, no, no. Alright, so apparently I'm not getting anywhere by looking up. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Isn't there one up here? 
not up here, down here. Right, right, am I right? Yep. I'm missing a single coin. Where is it hiding? Is it over here? I want to say there's one over here. Oh, and if you guys want to see a cool trick, I'm going to show you something. If you stomp a Koopa shell, if you stomp a Koopa, he'll pop out of his shell, then you get a skateboard. So as long as you don't run into a wall like that, you can skateboard around. You don't really get anything for doing it, but it's an easy way to kill enemies. You just got to watch running into a wall. I, I didn't want to keep skateboarding around because I really would like to find this coin and get this done. I'm really hoping that the eighth coin is not... I get the feeling it is. I'm hoping that that eighth coin is not up on top of that island where you have to get the um the wings in order to access it. That would really suck. Well, I don't see it up here. That's a good thing. Oh crap, and I overshot that one. Ouch. Oh. I mean, I really overshot that. Okay, so I'm gonna try to shoot myself back over to. Well, hold on. You see a red coin? I do not. Anybody? Oh, there's no one in the chat. Hopefully that'll change before long. Oh! Thought oh, I missed it again. <sighs> so I'm really, really, really Ah! I see it! Okay, so I just hurt myself. Dang it. Oh, almost got killed. Chain Chomp there, he, he's, he's fast. Is the one over here? Yeah, here we go. Alright, I, I thought I had already gotten that coin, that's the reason why I wasn't. Thank you, this is for you, that's for me, and with that said, boom, eight coins done. Alright, so, right, so I got one more star, power star to get. Um, give me one moment, I need to take a potty break.
Okay, welcome back. If anybody heard that banging sound, um, that was me putting on an incense and banging my small gong that I have in my room. It's a uh, spiritual thing I do to cleanse my living space of bad energy, evil spirits, that kind of thing. Um, I I'm a very spiritual person. I, I have a lot of uh, religious and spiritual beliefs that are akin to what is seen in um, the Orient. So, yeah. Alright, so back to Mario 64. What is the next mission here? I'm trying to think of it. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not going to look. What is it? So we got Chain Chomp. The eight red coins, uh, poop of the quick. Poop of the quick, um, King the Bomb. What is the next star coin? I, I give up, what is it? Mario Wings to the Sky. Ah, I can't do that one yet. No, I, I'm... well... No. See, okay, in order to get that star, you are going to need these blocks, which I have not accessed yet. I'll, I'll fly right through and see that. Yeah. Alright, so... That's gonna be it for that one. I'm gonna mosey on over to here. Use my star power. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. It'd be cool if they had some voice dialogue to go with that. Okay, this one here... I like that level, but I'm not going to do it first. Reason being is because I think... The difficulty, these two areas here, are better to go to before going to the snow stage. The snow stage, there's a lot of slippery areas, there's that race against the penguin. That can be quite taxing if you're not used to. You don't want to go in here either if, you, if you're trying to learn. This is cool though, this is where I am. These behave like real fish, it's really cool. Anyway. Um, I think the best way, place to go after the bomb battlefield is here. To judge the difficulty of each area, here's how you do it. Alright, so we got one star here, and we have, if you look over on the right side, upper right hand corner, it says three stars. Okay. The higher the amount of stars required to access an area, the harder it's going to be in most cases. There are some exceptions here and there, but for the most part. Alright, so this is going to be your second best choice if you want to scaffold the difficulty. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, I would say go to the snow level. Alrighty, so leap into that painting. Chip off Womp's block. Alright, this one's pretty easy. Okay. So we got these right here. We remember these. They're piranha plants. All you gotta do is sneak up on it. Just very gently tap the joystick. Approach it with caution. Then once you are about this far away, punch. For the count. Blue coins are worth five regular coins. There's a one up in here somewhere too. Is there a one up here? No. Is it in here? Nope. Coins. That's good though. Alright. 
those red coins again. Oh, crap! I couldn't see the camera angle. It threw me completely off. Alright, so, my first death during the stream. I'll be more prepared this time around. Actually, you know something I could do to avoid all that? Honestly, I know better. Okay, you can also dive at the piranha plants and take them out. You gotta be quick, that's your, that's your key, those quick and quiet. Oh, that doesn't work. Darn it. Apparently jumping makes too much noise, but yet diving at him doesn't. I, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Alright. So, these are the prompts in this game. They're quite a bit different than they are in Mario 3, where we first see them. Wait for them to fall. Jump and do a stomp on their back, sumo, stomp there, and... Okay, this is the big one. Attack him the same way as you saw me attack the others, the only difference is you gotta do it more than once. And he's got a larger range of attacks, so be careful. Just let him slide you off of him, let him fall down again. One more, we got him. There it is. No! Crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel. Er, grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. Hey, always gotta like a humble opponent, right? Hey. Here we go. Got another star. Took off Womp Supply. I do want to find out how I can access those red blocks. I can't find, I cannot remember what I do for that. Is it something down here maybe? Wow. Beautiful garden. Anything going on out here? Not yet. Later, a bunch of um, those boo ghosts gather. Now, I'll tell you what, the boo ghost levels are awesome. Okay, so we need the key to open that door. I obviously won't have it. Yeah. about the room up here. It's also a one-star room. Now, you'll see no painting, but you just find the false wall, and boom. Walk over here, read the sign. Welcome to Princess Toadstool's secret side. There's a star hidden here that Bowser could find. When you slide, press forward, speed up, press, press back to slow down. If you slide really fast, you'll win the star. Alright, so basically we do the whole penguin slide thing here. Dang it. Do my best here, no promises.
definitely feels a lot different than Forza. <laughs> I was able to control that pretty good. Alright, so it's another star. I thought this was where the red, red switch area was, but no. No. I'm missing a star. I think you get that red switch if you beat Bowser in your first encounter with him. So with that said, let's go here. Alright. To the top of the fortress. This will be an easy one. I'm going to tell you why. Because know where to go, you can just do a shortcut. Hold on, hold on. Don't worry about that, just get that coin, you'll be back on track. Alright. Okay, so, get this coin, basically all you gotta do, time your jumps, make sure that the platforms are moving outward. I kinda wait until they're barely coming out, and then I jump. Oh, okay. Watch out, you got bullet bills that like to circle around here, as you just saw. Seriously. Alright, so we ride the elevator like uh, Jeff does in Double Dragon when you fight him in the arcade game. If anybody remembers, um, Double Dragon in the arcades, popular, um, side-scrolling conveyor belt style side-scrolling beat em up At the end of level two, you fight this character named Jeff, and when he confronts you, he rides an elevator up to the level where you're fighting at. It's really cool. Alright, you've recovered eight the power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star. But Bowser is just ahead. Can you hear the princess call? Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. I've done pretty good so far. I've only died once. I always thought this was cool. It's a picture of the princess, and then it turns into Bowser, and then the trap door. Oh, ha, ha, you stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you. I warn you, friend, watch your step. So we've got the giant Lego brick here. <laughs> I don't even know what that goon is doing. I don't even think I want to know. It's just acting back. Now, the cool thing about these levels here is that you may be at the boss level to go fight Bowser, but you can still earn star points. I'm not really going to mess with it right now. It's not particularly necessary. But you can do that. See the, the red coins there? You get eight of those, you get a star.
anybody who's ever played Super Mario Galaxy, um, Mario 64 is the predecessor of that game. This game here pretty much laid down the building block. The building blocks for it. Alright. So here we go. Bowser's very big, mean, ugly, and scary in Mario 64. Let me tell you what. This is not the Mario 1 version of Bowser. Alright. So here we go. Let's maneuver around back of him. Grab his tail. Rotate the joystick. I usually go in a counterclockwise motion. Pause the game. Alright, see those spiked balls? You need to throw him into those. Oh, crap. I missed. Oh, he hit me. Wow, okay, good for him. Oh! I don't believe he didn't hit that! Oh man. So close, but so far. There you go. I, I don't know if that's enough to beat him or not. I think it is. It's our first battle against him, so we can expect it to be easy. Grr, I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned. But I still hold the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. Wahaha! <laughs> You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet. But I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this. Later. Alright. So. Scored the key. I go to get the blocks. That's the thing I'm trying to figure out. That's down here, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's over here. Can you jump into that metallic pool? Alright. Right, am I right? Yep, right here. I think this is it. I'm gonna look this up. I am extremely curious about. I can't remember where you get those red switch blocks. Alright, so, where do you go to get mm Hold on a second. 
I might not need to look this up, actually. Let's go. I might not need to look this up, because I think... I walked right past the area that I need to go to to get it. Right here. I have my controls set up. I'm trying to figure out if I'm able to look. Here we go, here we go. No? That doesn't work? Oh man, I thought that's how you got the Okay, I'm gonna have to look it up then. Alright. So I would like to finish all of the Babon Battlefield. Okay. So wait, I'm I'm partially right. Problem is I don't have enough stars. I need two more. Shoot into the wild blue. I cannot quite recall what that means. I mean, I know it involves the can. Oh, it's the wise owl here. Who's there? Who woke me up? It's still daylight. I should be sleeping. Hey, as long as I'm awake, why not take a short flight with me? Press A to hold. Press and hold A to grab on. Release A to let go. I'll take you wherever you want to go as long as my wings hold out. Watch my shadow and grab on. Go. Awesome. That's not the star that I was assigned to get, but star is a star. Gotta turn off my lantern. Follow the buzzards. Ray Wyatt, WWE. <laughs> this thing is awesome. I love this lantern. It's a little too bright for that now, though. Shoot into the wall, Blue. You go to the cannon. Right here. Okay. Shoot into the wild blue. Alright, so um, where do I go?
awesome. Not what I was really aiming to get, but I'll take it. Shoot into So, what does that mean? Shoot into the wobbly. What does. Now, Shoot into the wild blue, but that's the thing. What are they talking about? Break open the blue coin block by pounding the ground with the Z button. One blue coin is worth five yellow coins. But you have to hurry, the coins will disappear if you're not quick to collect them. Too bad. Alright. Shoot me to the wall blue. Trying to figure out what they mean by that. What does shoot into the wild blue mean? Alright. I did a Muhammad Ali on him. <laughs> so I gotta be careful going through here, or I can fall again. Actually, that's the um, character I fought before that I had to do this stomp on his back to kill him right up there at the top. That's another character, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. You know what I'm going to do. I don't really understand what they're trying to tell me to do here. Um, I'm going to start collecting red coins and see if I can get anywhere doing that. Damn, that's actually where I needed to be at, I think. If not mistaken, he's got a red coin looming over him. Right, right, am I right? No. Yep. 
go. Let's quietly approach. Find a plant, take him out, collect your five coins while well, at least attempted. Five, three more to go. Actually, hold up. Damn it. Six. Okay, cool, cool. Another coin up here, but I think you have to use Mr. Owl here to access. Yep. Oh, damn. I definitely did not do that the pleasant, easy way. Ouch. Poor Mario. The abuse this man suffers at my hands. My style of gameplay. Alright. Alright. So way down there at the uh, start of the stage is where I need to go. No! Don't tell me! Ah! Uh, I just went through all that. Could have swore that's where I needed to drop down at. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Let's do it again. This time I'm gonna do something a little different if I'm able to do it. No. Alright, so where did I go wrong? Alright. So I'm gonna do what I was just doing, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda do it in reverse. I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down. Got here. Good deal. Those camera angles are killing me. I have a lot of trouble adjusting the camera on this game. There we go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That's better. Yeah. 
deal. Health back. Awesome. Alright, so let's try that one more time. I'll take the hit. I got posted invincibility. Because I want to come right over here and get that red coin. And this red coin. That hurt me? My goodness, I thought Mario could take more than that. Here we go. You know, I think I'm up to seven after I get this one. Yep. What that means is at this point I need to get that one that is up here. Right here. Boom. Alright. Very little chance I'm gonna die on this one. All I have to do, literally, is just here and boom. All right, so I got ten stars. Okay, so should be able to access the red switch panel. Let's try it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Welcome to the wing cap course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow. You've stepped on the wing cap switch. Wearing the wing cap, you can soar the sky. So basically the power-ups that Mario can get in Mario 64, they're more limited than the power-ups you can get in, say, Mario 3, because Mario 3, you got the Tanuki suit, Raccoon suit, um, Fire Mario, um, Frog suit, Hammer Brothers suit, you got a lot of different things you can do. Um, in this game, Best of my knowledge here, you got uh, Metal Mario, you got the Wing Cap Mario, and then you have um, Invincible Mario that can't kill enemies, but you can pass through them. That's what I remember. Yeah, so. Alright. That said, I'm going to exit the course. Now, I'm going to go over... I'm going to go back over to... A bomb battlefield. Because I want to finish getting all the coins for the, um, the, um, finish getting all these stars. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attempt to shoot myself up on this island. I don't know if I can from here or not. No, I should not. stop on late years. Alrighty. <sighs> right there, one, two, one, two, three. Overshot it by eight miles. Oh, I have really got to get better with that. Try it again. This one. All right. Pretty straight shot from here. Whoa! Yeah. Makes me nervous every time I do that. So anyway, I come over here and boom! We got these red blocks now. 
bear with me, I haven't actually... Yeah, controlling this can be a bit tedious. It's gonna take me a couple of tries here to get it. I wonder if entering the cannon could do anything. Because you know that cannon's up here, why would it be up here? There we go. There's your answer. Right again. Definitely have to work on my aim here when it comes to this cannon. Boom! Alright. So there we go. You just have to aim, hit the center of those coin rings. Oh, damn. I was hoping I could swoop down and get it. Hey, but that's cool too. I did a reverse penguin slide and bam. Nice, okay, now there's another thing you can do to get a, uh, a star coin here, too. It doesn't look like you can, because it looks like I have every one of them here. See that? From start to finish. But there is one little thing here that a lot of people don't know you can do to earn another star. And this applies to every stage. Almost every stage. Watch what I'm doing here. Sneak down here. Ah, there he is. Alright. So, venture around here. Did I get him yet? Is he dead? Or did I get his coin? No. Go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Good deal. Star coins are worth... The red coins are worth two. Yeah, yeah. Going here. I'm not going to tell you all exactly what I'm doing, I just want you to watch me. Dang it.
actually finishing him off is not even necessary. Deal. I thought something happened when you do that. I guess not. Okay, whatever. There we go, I had to chase down that mushroom, but I got him. Okay, here we go. Sorry if any viewers are getting bored, I am doing something here to get me yet another star point. Oh, nothing in there? I just wondered about something in there, but whatever. Okay, so up. Got one of these balls. Do not go in there. Always throw him against the wall. Don't throw him near the edge of the cliff, or you will end up throwing him in an area where you don't want to. Oh, jeez. It's a wonder I didn't die from that. I thought I was going to be able to jump over to that island, but I was not able to, obviously. Here we go. Let's see if I can actually get up here on my first attempt. Oh, yeah. Check that out, because I'm good like that. <laughs> okay. That is a star coin, don't want to mess with that.
Alright, awesome. Crap. Yeah, I'm lucky I'm not dead. I forgot that my power was running out, my star power. Was running very low. Um, what I'm gonna do here at this point is Can I get up to that island from here? That's a question that I'd like to answer to. So, back up to the island. Alright, let's see if I can aim at this one more time. I think I have this one pretty much down pat. There we go. Cool. Deal. Now, what I'm going to do from here... Boom! There it is. Okay, so... I didn't want to come right out and say it, but in this game, if you collect 100 coins, you get a star... Um, you get a power star. Right, so one thing that really separates this game from the older Mario games is in the older Mario games, when you get 100 coins, you get an extra life. In this game, you don't get an extra life, you get a power star, which I think that is very cool. And pardon my silence while I was trying to do that, but I really had to concentrate. I've never really been the best with the wing cap, so... You collected, you've collected 100 coins, Mario gains more power from the castle if you want to save. Oh yes. Alright. Awesomeness. Alright. We are good. Now... I'm going to do a little something. I'm going to venture downstairs. Reason being is there is a particular stage I want to dabble in a little bit before I end the stream. I'm going to end... Well, I'm going to give it an estimate. Maybe in the next 20 minutes. I'm going to end... Um, apologies if anybody's really getting into it. 
but I have some things I have to do, and then I will be back later today after I take care of my errands. Okay, so you get this area, you can jump into that, you can see it, it, it was uh, it was wavy when I touched it, and boom. That looks like Fry Guy from Mario 2. <laughs> Now, this stage can be a little tough, so be careful. Alright, so I got to fight the bully. Right. Naturally, just try not to fall off the platforms and hit the water. Now, these guys here may look like bob bombs but they are not. These are the bully characters that you gotta fight. So be careful with them, you got to time your attacks like damn near perfect with these guys. In. Best thing to do is just don't stand next to any lava area like I was doing just now. There you go. You got him. Oh, damn it. Where is the big bully? The real big one? The one I gotta fight? I think he's over here, right? Did these eyes run around in circles? Okay, and yes, that's a teleportation area. Where is the big... This is this one. Okay, I, I'm not good with the wing cap, but I'm going to take a chance. I think he is on that big red platform over there, that brownish red platform. Right over this way, is he going to appear? Come on. Oh no, he's here! Alright, so I got to have a sumo wrestling match with him. When I fought the big B the Bomb King at the beginning, I said a sumo wrestling match, I actually had him confused with him. Because he, this guy here, you actually have to have something akin to a sumo wrestling match with him. Alright, I just took one hit, no big deal. There it is. Boom! Just gotta time your attacks right, you know. I forgot about those crumbling platforms. There you go. Okay, so... I've always liked this stage. It's a challenging stage. I wouldn't recommend doing it right away like I'm doing. I'm doing it pretty much early in the game. I'd wait. Okay. But, it is a fun stage. I really do get into it. So I'm gonna go back and do another one. Holy... The <laughs> another one of these? Damn. All right, you want, you want a piece of me? Jackie Chan, you boy. Uh, oh! Oh, okay, I have to go this way. That platform way over, it's like close to the upper right-hand side of my screen. That, that's where I need to be at. Oh, damn it! That was the slip of the joystick. My thumb slipped off the freaking joystick and I, I didn't manage to get over there properly. There's one thing about 3D games that use analog sticks that have a disadvantage versus these side-scrolling platformers is that your, think your thumb can slip off the joystick much easier. So I gotta fight both these guys at once. Oh, shoot. Well, you can hit them while you're falling. 
Wait a minute, you don't even have to actually hit them. Just jump on them. I don't remember that. No, I did not remember that at all. Um, okay, that wasn't it. That wasn't it! Crap. That sucks. I thought I had them. Well, I mean, I did have them, but I'm just saying I thought that... Whatever, man. Oh, crap! I forgot about that! No. no. I, I forgot about those fireballs that come up and, and burn you like that. It's been a long time since I've really played, played this level, so I, I can forgive that one. <laughs> those right there, I totally forgot about them. Oh, damn it. Oh, how'd that happen? You should have went the other way. Count. Boom. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Watch those fireballs that come up like that. Now I'm gonna say getting the eight coins has never been easier. Wow, I'll take it. But I still want to find these bullies that I have to fight. Is that them? I, I thought it was the two that I had pieced up earlier, but holy the bullies. Okay, which bullies? There seems to be a lot of them around here. I'll try to sumo wrestle you into the lava. And you know, it seems like I have them. I seem. It seems like I have the method of beating them down to a science. I'm not going to say I'm the best at it, but I am fairly good. Alright, is this it? Oh, damn it! Ah! Just knocked myself right into the freaking molten lava. Is that it? No! Crap. So... What? Time. Right, so timing is the key with the bullies, by the way. Time your uh, tanks! Well, oh, that was stupid. Move around in circles if you get caught on fire. Right, so I'm just gonna stand still here. So, I'm trying to figure out where these bullies are I'm supposed to confront. Now, don't quote me on this, but I think you can jump into this volcano. Yes! Okay, awesome. Is this it? Maybe this is... maybe this is it? Is this what they were referring to? Is it my imagination or are they quicker? Always quicker down here, or was that like some sort of glitch? May have been a glitch. Whoa! I remember that, but until that point I had forgotten that. Crap. 
Okay, so does the floor in here look like Reese's Pieces to you? Alright. So I'm walking on Reese's Pieces platforms. Let's so really watch him because he knocks you off this high up. You're gonna be in some trouble. You probably die. Be very precise with these jumps. Oh crap! Okay, through some miracle of God, I didn't die just then. I mean, that was very lucky. By all means, I probably should be dead after that. Um, alright, so. Round, round, boom, boom, alright. This game is awesome, it's fun, but man, at some moments it can really make your heart jump. Okay, so, where'd I go wrong? Ah, there we go. Nice. That's not the star that I was going after. Which one was that? Into the Volcano, I think it's called? Hot Foot Into the Volcano. Okay, alright. See, I, I remember this. It's just not... fresh in my mind. I haven't played this game in so long. It's really bugging me. What? Who are these bullies they're talking about? Who? Which ones? I mean, I, I've beaten up several of these guys. I even beat up the really big one. What the hell are you talking about? What you talking about, Wills? Oh, I got him behind his back. Did you see that? I, I did a sneak attack on that guy. Oh, he can come all the way over here? Take care of that. I tried to do a back attack. Oh, 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 that was good. How do I get over there? Damn it. Oh, yeah, that's it. I think this is it. Right, right, am I right? Yes, this this has to be it. I swear on my life, this is not the one. Two of them. Boom, alright gotta be it. Right, right, right. Oh, God! Oh. 
Okay. Way of the Ninja 101. Expect the unexpected. Be prepared for the worst. And then you will get the best. And thanks to that, I now have my star coin. And I figured out exactly what that star mission was all about. Alright. Oh, we're nudging up on two hours now, huh? Cool, cool. Alright. Hey, I'm having fun. I'm gonna go for another one. Red Hot Log Rolling. Hmm. I vaguely remember this one, and I remember this one being kind of hard. Okay. Alright. It's over here. Not mistaken. But, the question is, how the heck do I get over there? You guys got enough of me already. Jeez, these guys got enough of me. Okay, they don't want a piece of you that bad, do they? Okay, okay. Alright, fine. I'll tell you what, I've only got two meters of life, I'll take you on right now. There we go. I just pieced them up with barely any life. Boom. Alright. Anyway, back to reality here. Um I'd like to figure out exactly what they're referring to. What do they want me to do here? No. So what am I supposed to do? <sighs> Red Hot Log Rolling. I remember this one being hard, but I think it's harder to find it. Up on the shiny shell and ride wherever you want to go. Shred those enemies. Crap. Forget sometimes how precise you have to be with this one. And boy, you do. I'll tell you what. Wait a minute. Didn't I just come from there? Here we go. Alright. 
That's how you get over there. I was wondering how... Oh, crap! <sighs> no, 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 I'm having trouble with these camera angles. You all can probably tell I'm having issues adjusting it the way I need it to be. Really killed me just then. Come on, lack of two brothers. I thought you guys were supposed to be the media experts here, the cameramen. So far, so good. Okay, good, 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 good. Up. Over. Up. So, alright, how am I going to do the rock and burn? Like that? Okay, good, it's working. Whoa! Spoke too soon. No, 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 go this way. Oh! Damn! I wasn't misreading anything. I remember that one exactly as it was. It is hard. Hmm. Catch that rabbit, you get a star. Alright, almost had him there. Damn, I, that looked like I touched him. Uh, you have to do the sliding tackle, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, maybe punching doesn't work. If I could properly adjust these freaking camera angles, it would really help. I don't know how I didn't catch him this thing. Seriously. Wild rabbit chase. I got a wild goose chase. This is a wild rabbit chase. Oh, 
I'm sorry, but some of these attempts I've made look like they've worked. I got him. Alright. So I wasn't close enough when I was diving for him. I, I didn't think you were supposed to be, but I haven't done this in a while, so whatever. I got him. Now I know. Yeah, one hand me, Groot. I'm late. So late. I must make haste. Uh, they're referencing Alice in Wonderland here. <laughs> this shiny thing? Mine. It's mine. Finders, keepers, losers. Late, late, late. Ouch. Take it then. A gift from Bowser it was. Now let me be. I have a date. I cannot be late for tea. I keep thinking of that song by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Don't come around here no more. <laughs> if anybody's not familiar with that one, it's um Tom Petty's band. Um, they did a song back, if I'm not mistaken, in the 90s. And the music video, which is awesome, you should definitely look it up, say on YouTube or something like that. Um, it shows a girl, Alice, going into Wonderland, and Tom Petty is the Mad Hatter, and then there's the other characters. It's, it's really cool. Or I think Tom was the Mad Hatter. Yeah. So it, it was really cool. It was a, it was a uh, homage to Alice in Wonderland. Okay, wow, another power star. Mario gains more courage from the power of the castle. Who wants to save? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so here's what I'm going to have to do. I'd love to continue playing, but I have to go ahead and stop for now and take care of my functions and my business and my errands and when I'm all done I will be back probably sometime later tonight I'm gonna throw a guess out there six o'clock ish something like that but anyway for anyone who is tuning in or who tunes in later I want to thank you very much for um, for watching and um, I hope to see you later Arigato.